dog in you if you're not doing what you're supposed to do. So as we read Quran and we realize that truth is clear in your actions, in your everyday activity, you realize that truth is absolutely clear. You know when you're doing wrong and you know when you're doing right. Nobody can tell you what you just, you, you know, you, you know in your heart. A little preacher in your head saying, you know, you, you shouldn't be taking a look. You shouldn't be committing fornication. You shouldn't be beating up your wife. You shouldn't be doing all these crazy things that not even a prophet approved of. It's, 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 uh, the way he conducted himself was the ideal <coughs> way as a model for all mankind. And his idea was when he did things, not so much out of, out of it that you can't understand it or relate to it. Why? Because Allah says in the Quran, he tells Muhammad, he says, tell them, and a measurable, mythical, I am a man just like you. So what's in him is in you. I'm a friend of anyone who follows the guidance of the Quran and of course relate in their activities, the model example, in their activities, the model example of the Quran. So the love of the Son. I don't care if I was still 20,000 years ago or not, right now. Now, at the time when the prophet is going to and say it, that perhaps the people that you relay this message to in the future we may, will be better than you. Oh, I can't be like a Abu, Becker, Umar, or any of those other Greek men. Yes, you can. And yes, we are today, this very day. You have to understand that Muhammad, as well as all of the other prophets, are types that exist in every, in every human being. How do we know that? Because Allah says, no, Quran, it's not a theosophy type. I created you in the most excellent mode. Your inward structure, the essence of you, Allah has made you perfect as a human person. So what is the difference between Muhammad Sallallahu and us? He's a lost messenger. We are not. The Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi on his heart. Now, you say, well, he revealed him on his heart. Why wasn't it revealed to him any other kind of way? <coughs> See, we have to be able to look into a lot of these matters so that we can get the benefit from it. Because the language should be beneficial, moving, moving, beneficial. So we say, Sikra is not a company company. How about inside of the house? And that is to say that we, we, the creation. How do I read the creation? Every creation, everything in creation talks to us, speaks to us. Have a speech. How do we read? It? We learn how to conduct our activities, how to treat ourselves, our families, etc. By studying creation, studying mother nature. And everything that Allah has put out there for you to study so that you can read it and get the benefit of it. Lafdun Murakabun Muti Munta Wudya. When articulated, enunciated clearly, these words 
that you see these and be able to explain the ayats, the signs, benefit from them. Because they are established on the rules of the law of the Almighty God. Just like ground, out of the These are laws that when you follow the property and not just any laws, the laws of Almighty God are law. And they do not change. They don't change. You just have to become aware of them. How to benefit from it, take advantage of it. How to take advantage of it so we can make ourselves better in life. So we can make our, our family better, our community better, the nation better, the whole world better. And not follow. These skill, uh, uh, schisms that Shaitan put out there that tends to divide and conquer. That is designed to divide and conquer. Nationalism is designed, is there to the, uh, use, that is, can be used, I'll put it that way, to divide and conquer. Racism can be used to divide and conquer. Sexism can be used to divide and conquer. Rich folk or poor can be used to divide and conquer. People who are big headed, think they know it all, people who don't know nothing can be used to divide and conquer. Make them think of all of this and all of that. And what we know that the power is in Allah. That how the power go there and let me There's no power of my stuff with Allah. Allah is the one that gives. I said, we don't lose we, we, we Oh, I studied uh, chemistry all by myself, and uh, I'm a chemist now. I, I, I did it by myself. No. Every science that you know of was already here. You just became aware of it. <laughs> so, for me to say, or anyone to say, and I did this all by myself without the help of Allah. Well, you so mistaken. I mean, you're terribly mistaken. You, I mean, a grave mistake. Allah is going to give us an opportunity to see hellfire and paradise. Hellfire on this side, paradise on this side. And why are we given that opportunity to see them? Because you have literally the ability to, I see, make decisions. Whether you want to be in hell or not. So, if we <coughs> realize that we have that ability to do that, what is in between paradise and hell? Have you ever thought about that? Paradise and hell. Barzakh. Barzakh. An intimate, into something that intercedes between this and that. It's in the middle. It's not neither there or there, but here Allah gives you the ability to just stand right here. And you're not there, not there, but you can see hell. What it's like to see the Lord. If hell power is like that, how do you near that? Then you look over there and say, is paradise like that? I don't know to get over there, but you're not there yet. You have to make a decision on what you want to do. Why? Because that separates 
Barzakh, you have to make a decision to decide 